Welcome to Tourniquet Talk. I'm your host, Paul Markle. And with me again is Dr. Dan Oblisnicki. And you did get that right And I did again. get it right. All right, Dan. No bull crap. Uh, there's been a lot of bologna sausage floating around on the internet about tourniquets and how you should never do it. And it's dangerous. And if you do use one, they're going to take your house and your children's future from you because you just shouldn't do it. What's the real deal with using a pre-made medical tourniquet to stop someone from bleeding to death as an ER doctor? Well, absolutely. And looking at it as an ER doctor, as a SWAT medic, what have you, the, where that really came out from is they don't want you to use a tourniquet where it's not indicated. Meaning, if you have a, uh, a paper cut, probably not the place to use a tourniquet. That's where pressure, elevation, you want to probably stick with those. It may be a little bit overzealous. However, if somebody's bleeding to death in front of you and there's just you know motor right, oil pouring blood, out, blood pumping out, yeah, there's a problem here, and you want to keep that stuff in the body. So, as an emergency physician and as a SWAT medic, um, I can fix mostly dead, like Miracle Max, but I can't fix completely dead. So, when you come to me, I want you in as little shock as possible and have to replace as little of that blood as possible. Because it's not that simple. It's not like, oh, you're you know, A positive, great, let's just hook them up to the A positive machine and get that in there. Yeah. Not so simple. There's compatibility issues. There's antibodies to all this stuff. Every time you get a transfusion, it messes you up somewhat. All right? It's not benign. You want to keep your blood inside of your body. Absolutely. So don't lose it. Keep it in there. Plug the holes. Plug the holes. So tourniquet, absolutely, because then it stays in the body. And as far as packing the wound and getting it in there, everybody should be able to do this. It's a survival skill for this day and age. Whether you're in a car accident, whether you know a tree falls on you, whether, whether you're in a gunfight, doesn't make a difference. Whatever the source of the trauma is, you need to be able to take care of it. And you might need to be able to take care of it one-handed. Bottom line, Dr. Dan, if I put a tourniquet on someone, are you going to have to saw their leg off guaranteed because a tourniquet was put on their leg? Absolutely not. But if they show up to me alive, I can probably fix them. But if they show, to, show up to me with no blood, they're dead. They don't need me. I can't fix that. doesn't matter how many limbs they have. They're going to be a four-limb corpse. Absolutely. And the same thing goes with wounds. As far as packing the wound, whether it's gauze, whether it's toilet paper that you use in there to stop that bleeding, it doesn't matter. It can be hygiene products. Absolutely. You can use those too. The bottom line is anything that contaminates that wound is going to get washed out in the operating room. I don't, I don't necessarily care you know, what you use. You're obviously not going to use feces in right. there. But if well, it's how relatively about, clean, how about the, well, if I tear open this bandage, then it's no longer sterile, so I can't use it. I don't care about sterile. It just needs to be relatively clean. And you know what? If it's not clean, if it's a piece of your shirt that you're cutting with a boot knife, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. All that contamination is going to get cleaned out in the OR, and that's the bottom line. So watching somebody die is stupid and irresponsible. Packing that wound with whatever you got and stopping the bleeding, that's your responsibility, and that's a survival instinct, and that's what needs to be developed. So bottom line, whatever you have to do to get them to the ER semi-alive, that's what you need to do. So and get sometimes them it's one of these. I'm Paul Markle, and this has been Tourniquet Talk. Tune in next time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Student of the Gun Homeroom. Make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week, watching the TV show, and that you download the mobile app. Hey, it's free, right? You can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes Store. And please leave your comments below.